Hello friends, in this video I will be talking about environment variables in Next.js application. So I will tell you how you can read the server side variables as well as client side variables. So for that you need to create one file called as .env.local. Okay. As you can see there is one .env.local file and there you can put some variables. So here I have put some striped variables like publishable key and secret keys. The variables that you want to access on the server can be written in this format so you can just put the variable name but the variables that you want to access from the front end needs to be prefixed with next underscore public underscore so this is required otherwise your code will not work it will not uh, replace the actual uh, value of these variables in the front end so it is very important that you prefix this for the variables that you want to access on the front end now i will show you how you can access these variables in your code so let us go to first of all server side code so you can see there is in the api there is this file where i'm trying to create the payment intent and over here you can see that is how you can access the variable process.env.stripe underscore sk and this this is not required basically required.env.config generally it is required in other uh, node.js applications but in next case you can directly access process.env.stripe underscore sk whatever is the variable name this is for the server side variables now to access the variables in the front end, I'll give you that example as well. So if you go to index.tsx in the checkout page, you can see here we are loading the stripe using process.env.next underscore public underscore and then whatever is the variable name. So basically in the build process what happens is that this variable is actually replaced with the actual value and then that value is sent to the front end you may encounter one error like fs model not found can't resolve fs so to fix this kind of errors what you need to do is you need to go to next.config.js so this is the configuration file that you'll find in the root directory of your next.js application and in here you have to specify fs colon false in this web pack so basically you create this model.exports object okay here what we are telling webpack to do is just ignore the resolution of fs model that's it without this uh, you will get a lot of errors related to fs so this is very important that's it that's how you can use the variables on front end as well as back end if you have any questions let me through the comments thank you for watching